Hello, good evening, and welcome to UTV Live. I'm standing in for Pamela this week, so sit back and relax with me over the next half hour, because on tonight's programme, this really seems to be a golden era for Northern Irish films, with an Irish goodbye, making international headlines by winning an Oscar, and hopefully more to come. So I'm delighted to be joined by writer and film director Michael Cray and actor Dan Gordon, who are hoping that their new film, Rello, will receive accolades as well. Paul Riley was lucky enough to meet up with the man who famously discovered the wreck of the RMS Titanic, Dr. Robert Ballard. Michael Rafferty and Stephen O'Sullivan from the band The Minus, who have just released their new single, The Steepest Hill, will be popping in for a chat and will have music from them as well. And our film critic, Brian Henry Martin, is looking ahead to this week's top entertainment tips. Now, Northern Ireland. Still to come, I'll be chatting to Michael Rafferty and Stephen O'Sullivan from the band The Minnows, and we'll hear their latest single at the end of the programme. And Paul Riley was lucky enough to meet up with Dr Robert Ballard, who famously discovered the wreck of the RMS Titanic. Hello again. Those of you from my generation will remember the band Tiberius Minnows, who hit the music scene with their debut single Time Flies on the famous Good Vibrations record label. Over the years, Tiberius got dropped and the Minnows emerged. And two years ago, after a 10 year gap, they returned with their third studio album, Californian Poppy. We'll be hearing their latest single, Steepest Hill, at the end of the programme. But now I'm delighted to welcome two of its members, Michael Rafferty and Stephen. Oh, Sullivan. Guys, you're so welcome. It's brilliant to see you guys again. I remember seeing you in my early 20s. I, very short story, went to uni in England. And when I came back, you guys were just everywhere in Belfast in the early 90s. That's right. Well, they were good old days. <laughs> and as you said there, time flies. But um, yeah, it was fun in those days. I think we were tipped to be the next big thing. But being in a band, you never know what way it's going to go. Uh, yeah, so. exactly, and it's the same in any industry, yeah. and and all these years later. But you've got you've had such faithful followers, and and everybody who knows you absolutely loves you. All these years later, you've decided to you know to get back into writing and performing again. Tell us about that. Well, we spent a lot of time in lockdown writing and recording. Obviously, put out Californian Poppy, which was really well received. So we just it was a natural progression. So we. We'll play a gig a lot of people were asking us to play so yeah. we've put in two gigs now which is great and yeah a new single the steepest hill yeah tell us a bit about the steepest hill well, the steepest hill everybody we meet you know uh life's not just busy it's it's crazy for most people at the moment including, including ourselves so we thought this song would be a, a appeal to them it would resonate with anybody who's got any sort of struggles in their lives uh, and those struggles could be massive or they could be small but my own motto has always been, nothing's ever simple. So this takes it one step further, just to say, life should be simpler than this. And I think when, when COVID struck, uh, everything was simplified for everybody. And people were going, isn't this great? And now we'll appreciate family values. And now we'll take our, our finger off the, our, our foot off the gas when it comes to work and stuff. But now we're coming out of COVID and I see us all heading back the same direction. And everybody's getting stressed again. And this song is for everybody out there who's feeling that. Lovely. Um, but you as musicians, you were saying earlier that, you know, th there's pressure and not everybody can succeed. But there's something about that wee bit of age and wisdom that comes. You relax about all of that. You mm. nearly don't care if you do well and therefore you ease into doing well. Couldn't have put it better yeah. uh, myself. Um, we have found that uh, we do everything ourselves. We play when we want. We write when we want. Uh, <laughs> we play when we want every 11 years. Uh, but uh, I think the gig is actually a response to the response that we've had to doing our own thing. And with the shackles off, we're not doing stuff to please record companies. We're not writing songs to please radio stations. We're doing what we love doing. And that seems to resonate with the public. Uh, and hence, it's, uh, it's got this resurgence and we've, we have a huge momentum going again at the moment. Do you know, it's so refreshing to hear musicians like yourself saying, we're, we're doing this for ourselves. And, and everybody on the stage loves that and will love that. But did you miss those gigs? You know, I suppose now you started gigging again. Did you go, oh, I love doing this again? I think, yeah, now that we're going to gig again, we're enjoying the rehearsals, going really well. So we're really looking forward to it. I think we've forgotten. We got into 
studio mode and now we're very much in live mode so we're re really looking forward to it yeah and so now you're hitting the black box april 22nd is that right That's and right. it's totally sold out isn't it sold yeah out. Awesome. Yeah, which is great. And then Derry's coming as well. Tell us about that. Yeah, that's selling really well. Apparently it's nearly sold out, so we're delighted with that. So get your tickets, the last few available. Yeah, that's the Sandinos on, Sandinos. on, on May the 13th. So we haven't played Derry. We did our video for Time Flies in Derry, our first single. Uh, so it's great to be heading back there because we had a wee hardcore following up there too. And has your writing style changed? And I think it, life has changed everybody, this whole lockdown nonsense, hasn't it? But I suppose now you're really honest in your writing. It's all about just how you're feeling, isn't it? Yeah, I think we, we were young and energetic and full of positivity. <laughs> and now people just say, look at these miserable old... Uh, <laughs> Less of the old, we're the same age. Yeah, no, these miserable young... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we are. We, there's an honesty, a realism, and just just more life experience and, and world experience. So, uh, we always write from the heart, and um, yeah. oh, that's, yeah, and, and that's what people uh, seem to relate to. And I'm delighted to say we'll hear the steepest hill at the end of the program. So gorgeous talking to you both. I can't Thank wait you. to come and see you. I might sneak in the black of back of the black absolutely. box if they let me in. Otherwise, I'll go to Derry. Thank you again. Thank you, <laughs> Now, tonight marks the 111th anniversary of the sinking of the RMS Titanic. Thank you, thank you very much. What an interesting man. Well, that's about all we have time for tonight. We'll be back next Friday evening at 7 o'clock, and I hope you can join us then. Now, to play us out here are the Minnows with the steepest hill. Have a great weekend and a lovely night. I'm on my back. I have seen the writing on the
we got on the sofa tonight?